So, you arrive in prison and get ready to spend the next few months, years, or decades behind bars. Put yourself in that position and you're probably wondering, what are you going to do with all that time? Today we're going to look at the routine for new inmates, what prisoners do in jail all day, and also find out what ghosting in prison means. Hint, it's not when you ignore someone's Snapchat. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at what do prisoners do in jail all day. But before they lock us up, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. When an inmate first enters prison, they're usually processed for a very long time. They'll usually be dropped off at the jail by a taxi, a friend or relative. Or they can be picked up by the local sheriff's prison bus. However, this bus is generally very uncomfortable and they have to make many stops to pick up many prisoners. And they also drop off convicts too, which takes even more time. Going on the prison bus is referred to as a diesel tour and this is generally avoided. But let's fast track to when cons go into their new prison home. First off, their civilian clothing is taken and they're given prisoner clothing. If they're in the USA, this is usually a bright orange jumpsuit. They're also disinfected to make sure they're clean and not bringing things like head lice into the prison. And they also have a very thorough search to make sure they're not taking anything prohibited into the prison. Any of their possessions are catalogued and put in a small box. But convicts are actually allowed to bring in a few possessions from the outside world. Oftentimes, this includes things like books, glasses and legal documents. Convicts and also prison guards refer to new inmates as fish. And when they're being processed for the first time, they're held in a special area of the prison known as the fish tank. New prisoners are held in the fish tank for 30 days while prison officials process their paperwork. They also have to find a room for the prisoner to stay in and maybe give them a prison job. These jobs include things like laundry jobs, maintenance jobs, janitorial jobs, cooking jobs and landscaping jobs. And prisoners can earn around 10 cent per hour for doing these jobs. An inmate's stay is not very interesting, in fact, they're stuck in a cell which is around 8 by 6 feet. Their bed is likely made out of metal and is bolted to the wall. And in their cell they will also have a sink and a toilet. If they get lucky, they may even have a window facing the outside of the prison. And due to prison overcrowding, most prison cells now hold two prisoners. Usually an additional metal bunk bed will be installed above the first bed. And the case usually is that the strongest or scariest prisoner gets the top bunk. Life in prison starts at 7.45am. This is when all of the doors are unlocked and you have to go shower. After that you get some time to eat some breakfast in the canteen, but work starts at 8.30 so get moving. Many prisoners work up to 6 hours a day only making around $10 per week. However, the best paying prison job is what's known as prison industry. This could be anything from making clothing to making CDs. The work is often very mundane and generally does not meet usual health and safety guidelines. Now you may think, why would I want to work for such little money? But prisoners often do. The thing is, even though they're menial tasks, it does help to pass the time. If you don't do anything and sit in your cell all day, you may get cabin fever and go insane. You may think that forced labour is a thing of the past, but it's still very much alive in prisons today. At around midday, prisoners are sent back to the canteen to collect lunch. All prisoners are then locked up for about two hours so the staff can have their own lunch. And then at around 2pm, they're unlocked again and they have to get back to work until 5pm. After that shift, they're served dinner, but many prisons actually call this tea. In most prisons, dinner is eaten in your cell, but sometimes it's eaten in a canteen. During dinner, the preferred bunk is actually reversed, and the scariest, toughest inmates get the bottom bunk. That's because you could sit there with your tray to the side of you and eat. But if you have the top bunk, it's easier to sit on the toilet with your dinner on your knee. Prison food is very poor quality and there's not much choice. Usually two to three main course options were available and there's always a vegetarian option. Not only that, there's also a kosher and halal version of every meal. In many prisons, menu sheets are issued a week in advance, so you can choose your own meal. But if you do not return your form to your wing, then you're given the default meal, which is always the vegetarian option. There are even some low-fat meals which are specially prepared, but these are only for inmates with doctor's notes. Meals are typically things like stews and things which can be made in a large pot. Also, the meals have lots of carbohydrates, as they're very filling but not nutritious. Pasta, potatoes or rice are usually the base of most meals. 
In many prisons, breakfast is actually collected for the next day at the same time you have dinner. This is usually a small, single portion of cereal and some milk. You may also be given some tea bags or some coffee mix. For lunch, inmates are usually given a sandwich, often cheese, and sometimes also a packet of potato chips. And during Ramadan, a special menu is made for those who are participating in that. And usually in prison, lights go out at 10pm. Many prisoners who are facing years behind bars are only allowed outside for one or two hours per week. But if you're inside for something pretty minimal, then you may be allowed to go out for longer than that. But typically, prisoners have to get used to life indoors. At 10pm, lights are supposed to go out and prisoners are supposed to be quiet and go to sleep. But apparently prisoners do break this rule often and make lots of noise and stay up late. But now we know what happens to new inmates and the daily routine of a prisoner behind bars, what is ghosting? Well, ghosting is basically when an inmate is being released from jail or moved to another jail. Normally when this is going to happen, an inmate is advised a few days in advance. This allows the prisoner to say goodbye to their friends they may have met in prison. When someone is ghosted, they're usually told the night before. This happens after lockup, and it allows them to pack their bags, but also not mix with other inmates. This makes it impossible for them to settle any scores or collect any debts. Also, it stops other jealous inmates from injuring them. Also, while they're being ghosted, they won't have access to telephones to inform anyone on the outside. And for some high-risk inmates, they won't be told where they're going until the next morning, so no one else in the wing can know. Prison involves a lot of logistics, and all of these are scheduled and arranged for weeks in advance. Sometimes, for an inmate to progress through the prison system or to manage population levels, they're moved to another prison. But before that, a fit-for-travel medical assessment must be made by a doctor. Ghosting is also done for emergency situations. For example, prison guards may learn that an inmate is in imminent danger. Or maybe they are themselves causing problems and have to be moved. And in very extreme cases, if someone's being destructive, they're taken to segregation, which is known as the block. And then, they're never seen again, as they're taken to another prison. Also, prisoners who are being ghosted are woken up at 7.30am. That's one hour before every other prisoner who's woken up at 8.30am. This allows them to get out of the prison and where they need to go without any trouble being caused by any other prisoner. So now you guys know what it's like for a new inmate behind bars, the daily routine of a prisoner and what ghosting is. But now it's time for you guys to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, have you ever been in trouble with the law yourself? If you want some more amazing videos then check out my second channel, there'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already what are you waiting for, subscribe to Top 10s.